I feel like if I love God the most, and then I love, like that's, that's how I can love my wife the best. Hmm. And then if I love my wife the best, that's how I can love my kids the best. And so it just kind of like trickles trickle down. down effect, yeah. yeah, Awesome. I love that. Uh, this next question, since you bring that up, it's a perfect segue, is from Lori underscore Yans. What is your God story? My God story, well, um, talking about like the camp that we went to for Young Life, I feel like Young Life really opened up my eyes to um, like get off myself because I did have like a lot of growing up, um, you know, you see the accolades, you see other musicians and you want that. And even though um, I was humbled, there, there was a piece of me that's like, I want to I wanna be like John Mayer. I want to play, you know, these big stadiums. Um, and so I had a lot of, I had not a lot, but I had some of that in, in myself. And my parents would always take me to church growing up. Um, in Utah and Texas, but it was more like their thing where I would just show up and, I mean, I was super young, mm -hmm. but we always, we always grew, um, went to church. And then I think it was when we, I went to Young Life and then we came out from that camp, that camp like transformed my world where they had a time where they said, okay, this is like the last day of camp. And then we were, you know, activities, having fun. I think a lot of that was disguised as like, we're going to tell you about the Lord. <laughs> And um, it is fine. And then when they when they were telling me about that, like I think that was the first like personal time where I felt the Lord and like speak to me and remind me that He's like with me at all times. Because they said, "Okay, we're actually gonna have you guys go. This is the last day of camp. We're gonna have you guys sit outside into the middle of like Arizona with these mountains." And that was like my turning point. I feel like because they says come back in like an hour just have solitude, just you and like being out there. And there was no, it wasn't forcing anything. It was just like, just be with the Lord. And like, if he's, and I think at that moment, it was one of the first few times that I shut off everything else. Cause I always had music playing. I always had things and it was, it was like my first time kind of just being in solitude. And that was where I felt the most like, oh, you're with me. You're, you're like with me right now. It's like, I'm going to serve you for the rest of my life. Like that was the moment. Right, I was like, I'm not gonna do anything on my own anymore. It's like, all the glory is gonna go to you. And whatever I do, like this gift that you've given me, I'm gonna use it for your glory. And so um, when I came back, I like jumped in my parents' Bible study group and they were going through this series called Purpose Driven Life. And that book and that series and watching the videos, it was like, man, I'm, I'm made for this. And how do I, how do I use this gift? that I've been blessed with to bless you back and to take all the glory off of me. And so um, there was a scripture, we are, for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. And so that was like the scripture at the time. I was like, you've prepared in advance. You already knew that I would be here at this time that I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward with this. And then literally like that same month, the church asked me if I would be considered like an interim worship leader. Mm. And um, I was like, okay, well, I'm not really worship leader material, but I'll, I'll do it. And so I ended up jumping on. I was 18 at the time. Um, and I was the interim for like, <laughs> uh, like three years. <laughs> it was like, just like six months or something, yeah. like three years. And that really like um, started my like crafting, chiseling off some of the character issues that I didn't know I had. And meeting with pastors, like I really wanted to do this life right. And so like, I'm like, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm about to get married. Fast forward the tape. Um, I wanna be a dad. I wanna be a dad that's also known for like loving the Lord and that my kids know that whenever they lose hope that they know like this, this is something that dad had and, and for it to be, um, yeah, I just know over, over the years, like the Lord has really been, had his hand on our family and just, we can see it throughout all the prayers that we've had. And so, yeah, knowing from from healings to, it's like, man, we, we were praying for this and look, the Lord listened and this is what, this is what, um, how he responded. And sometimes it's not always how we want, but it's like, mm -hmm. we don't understand right now, but 
yeah, I, my, my trust is going to be put in him. So that's kind of my, my story. Yeah. Awesome. 